What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and here we're sharing some ideas about a frugal lifestyle. Uh, all, uh, hot hello all the way from Novosibirsk city. Uh, on the background you can see uh, the typical uh, burgers, uh, uh, Siberian bur burgers, original chain, uh, original uh, uh, and authentic uh, Siberian chain of burgers. Uh, and snacks um, at 24-7 as you can see uh, it's called Podorozhnik uh, Podorozhnik um, uh, chain of uh, burgers uh, and, sna and snacks uh, I would say uh, and um, originally uh, this uh, this uh, retail uh, food, food street retail uh, chain uh, was uh, uh, scale, uh, was founded uh, uh, or founded uh, this retail chain chain founded uh, food street retail chain founded uh, in Barnaul uh, city Barnaul city or Kemerovo city I'm not fully sure uh, but it's definitely from regions it's not from from Novosibirsk uh, but uh, uh, Nowadays it covers uh, all Siberia and uh, it's a trustworthy place uh, uh, for if you commute uh, across Siberia, you know, between cities. Uh, we have uh, probably uh, more than one dozen cities with a population more than 500 thousand. Uh, uh, more more than half of of million, uh, and uh, so uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, delicious or something that uh, uh, that uh, will inspire your uh, uh, your uh, experience. You know, if you are uh, if you are foodie, yeah, if you are foodie enthusiast. Uh, enthusiastic uh, and if you are foodie uh, I wouldn't say that um, it's something uh, must have to, to taste in Siberia but uh, uh, if you if you commute uh, if you are commute um, between cities in, uh, in uh, across Siberia it could be uh, the way you know it's a franchise of course like McDonald's and uh, it has uh, uh, quite a, a huge list of different snacks and burgers and uh, uh, coffee, of course, uh, soft drinks and so on. Uh, so, uh, but uh, anyway, it's uh, original uh, Siberian burgers uh, and uh, even though, uh, but it's really uh, like uh, you know like low budget segment that's why it's not so it's uh, um, I wouldn't uh, say that it's something uh, that uh, should <laughs> should uh, should be tasted yeah I uh, heard them big ceramic view or I mean uh, big here is the building, uh, another part of the building uh, where located our office, our current office uh, in Maxgen Proma. Uh, here is one of the part. it's constructivism building, dated back to the 1929 uh, constructivism style, constructivism architecture style. So, As you can see, uh, Novosibirsk do doesn't have uh, much um, homeless or addicts on the street uh, because uh, uh, I would say um, uh, I would say even though we are in the city center, even though we are in the city center, uh, but. Uh, uh, I guess uh, we have 
rock bottom prices, really affordable uh, prices, uh, and also I guess it's uh, traditions, maybe something like that. Uh, here is a, a little bit outdoor dining, you know, outdoor dining uh, that it called uh, library restaurant, library library uh, library restaurant. Uh, I, I never have been there, uh, but uh, I guess it, it looks uh, it looks legitimate uh, and uh, uh, it has quite a sophisticated idea. Uh, the old the old building, you know, historical building, also constructivism style uh, here in the center of Novosibirsk city. And also, I was uh, in this uh, 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 restaurant in uh, underground. It's or maybe it's a cafeteria or something like that. Anyway, they have uh, they have German food, German food, uh, traditional German food, uh, tra traditional German beer, and so on. Uh, feel free to check it out. I, I guess uh, uh, it was uh, good. Uh, time for me uh, where uh, when, when I used to work in my company like in full time uh, and so also we have uh, um, on the other part side of the street in, on the opposite side of the street we have also the building I'm not really sure maybe it's a Stalin Ampere or constructivism but uh, uh, here we have uh, an ad, uh, uh, a shop, or uh, yeah, we have a shop, a candy shop, candy shop. Uh, you, you, you try, try uh, authentic, authentic uh, candy shop from Novosibirsk. Um, I mean, it's rather maybe uh, not candy shop. Maybe it's. Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of cheesecakes, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of croissants, something like that. I mean, it's uh, uh, it's a good way to uh, uh, to buy something for uh, for coffee, for tea, uh, whatever. And here we have uh, uh, an authentic. Chinese uh, tea shop, tea shop, uh, and uh, also it's another cafeteria on the background. You can see an, uh, an entrance to the another cafeteria. They they are really creative, as you can see. Just only only place for outdoor dining, but they are really creative. They made this really cozy uh, and yeah feel free to check it out uh, if you ever will be here uh, yeah. on the background you can see also I believe some boutique a bit, typical boutique area and also on the other part of the street a similar situation So here is a service for phone services. You can repair your smartphone and so on, or any other electronic devices. Also, here is the uh, and the entrance with a really heavy door, wooden construction door, uh, really heavy door. It's sort of it's something belongs to the government structures, I would say. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, it says that uh, it's something uh, that uh, serves as a part of uh, federal government, um, and uh, they uh, they uh, has something to do with. Uh, they have uh, it. It has something to do with with uh, resources, you know, 
maybe fuel or something like that. Uh, well, on the other part, uh, on the opposite side of the street, also some boutiques. Some of them are nice. Barber shop. So we are in the Sovietska street. Sovietska street. And uh, this awful fence with uh, ghetto uh, graffiti is actually the fence that protects a museum and the museum uh, the Novosibir uh, um, the, the museum of the Novosibirsk city it wasn't re uh, repaired it looks awful but anyway it it, it is what it is <laughs> uh, so here also we have some interesting solution uh, like an en entrance to the it's a it's a regular building like soviet style stalin style but the entrance created really interesting it, it, it's a beauty studio something like beauty beauty studio wooden constructed entrance really nice I mean taking into account that it's a background it's uh, underground uh, space I guess it was it was a nice move it's a, it's it's a nice move to make your your beauty studio better. It was really fast. You see, it, 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 it's a, it's a somewhat cut company delivery company, which, which means uh, that means that means uh, uh, scooter from Russian. They deliver uh, food uh, and. Here's the echo shop, I mean uh, echo shoes shop, typical thing. Another barber shop on the opposite side of the street, another barber shop. Really nice building, I guess. Also, probably all, it's also constructivism. Yellow, yellow building, and also, if you are my friend, you've seen that before. But anyway, uh, for double checking, it's it's a nice tradition of Novosibirsk city. Some graffiti on the on the wall of regular building, Soviet building. This nice lady with the red hair, right? So, and also uh, on the opposite side we have uh, we we have some uh, some school quite a popular I guess even though it's just a Soviet style building. But I've seen that uh, the cars, the cars uh, that uh, uh, carried uh, carried uh, children to the school was really were, were really expensive. So here we have some typical solution: old Soviet-style building, and with a with a boutique or with a showroom showroom in the first floor on the uh, on the first floor this building and also uh, let's 
let's eye eyeball in there really nice uh, graffiti that I that uh, I've seen recently just recently uh, look at this just a regular regular Soviet building if you've seen one you've seen them all but with with graffiti it looks really nice and bearable <laughs> I mean bearable to see <laughs> graffiti covers the whole building the whole wall so it's like futuristic right New. and checked out another wall another style And also here another like cell phone, old style, old school cell phone. And also it's and also some some other picture. Actually, it is supposed to be just gray, boring, boring walls. But look at this, just some, someone with a, with a talent. Hello, my name is, and, <laughs> and there is no uh, way to to determine, to recognize what 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 is it? What is his name? So, probably some unknown artist, <laughs> um, and also speaking about unknown artists you know uh, when i was in vienna austria it was quite an interesting fact for me uh, that actually the uh, um, actually modern arts in uh, like we know uh, uh, modern arts dated back to the 18th century before uh, till uh, up, uh, before 18th century it was just uh, uh, unknown artists that uh, uh, the uh, there's painting there's uh, there's artworks uh, there's paintings were were devoted to the to the god and uh, uh, early uh, the artists of Renaissance uh, were were humble and uh, they were supposed to be unknown and and uh, uh, we have some examples like. Uh, Michelangelo or uh, others uh, uh, artists of Renaissance, but uh, it it's really uh, peanuts comparing to the uh, to the many artists, uh, the the majority of artists that were unknown 
actually that uh, they 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 were un they still unknown uh, up to up, uh, up to this time because uh, actually it was all all art uh, all, all art was uh, devoted to religion topics so uh, that would be uh, probably the nice way to wrap up this video and uh, here's a playground by the way looks looks really abundant it looks like ra rather ghetto typical thing I mean soccer plus baseball and the other part as well soccer soccer plus baseball nothing more and looks really really ghetto <laughs> Probably, uh, I did say that before, but uh, it's actually uh, uh, going uh, going to be better. Uh, this time around, we have something, uh, some playgrounds like this. You know, uh, uh, I get. I mean, it's like uh, not play playgrounds, but I mean, workout play, street workout places for uh, outdoor, outdoor street workout places. So uh, I guess it's it, it's good for uh, people who live there. I, I guess uh, it uh, somebody just uh, just get my idea <laughs> really li literally uh, um, and so uh, on the opposite part uh, if you remember this building with a girl with uh, with red hair here is this building I guess it's uh, massive. It's it was interesting maybe back to the time of Stalin and probably maybe it's uh, uh, if we look deeper uh, a little bit deeper maybe it was the reason for for uh, when when this uh, uh, when uh, when red terror when red terror when um, uh, genocide against own population took a place right uh, uh, at this time people had uh, people uh, probably were confused because uh, it was the infrastructure was uh, growing uh, and I guess it was a lot of improvement in the people lives and unfortunately that was maybe uh, may, maybe it could be could, could, could be the part of uh, the part uh, why uh, why uh, people didn't recognize this evil, this evil, uh, so long, and yeah, uh, uh, before it was too late, yeah. Uh, but it, it's just my theory, and on the spot, you know, and uh, um, this time around. 
like this. And so thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. And uh, also uh, feel free to press thumb up and uh, and um, uh, carrying the sharing. Now, thank you very much, guys, for using. Uh, finance with Tony. Have a one. Uh, have a have a great day. Have an awesome day.